Hello there, and welcome to the final mission of our Trigui Pass campaign in Tank Warfare Tunisia. Unfortunately, I made a little mistake with recording, or to be more precise, Shadowplay messed it up, and well, my turn wasn't recorded, but I noticed in time before I started the battle. So let me just walk you through what happened. Now, we ended turn number three. Here is the historical situation that developed on the 26th of November at 6 p.m. As a result of the battle, the Germans lost six Panzer IV and Panzer III. They had to retreat to the Coxon farm, that's up here in the north, where they took defense and held the tanks of A Company, pursuing them with concentrated fire, knocking out one tank. The battle near the Chirigui Pass was the first clash of American and German tank men during the Second World War. As a result, both sides lost nine tanks each. At that, most US tanks were lost permanently, and German tanks received various damages that led to them being not mission capable. The battlefield was left to the US. So, I had some reinforcements come in, C companies on the field. Now, I was faced with an um, interesting situation. This enemy battle group was precisely down here. And by being here in this position, they were threatening the HQ battalion, uh, the battalion HQ, excuse me, here at this little farm. And they were also threatening this victory point. They could have moved either way, and I don't think the battalion HQ would have been able to put up much of a fight against them. Now, there is A Company here in the area, and I did order A Company to attack this battle group. This battle group is behind my own lines. They are encircled. So, after the previous battle, they will not have gotten any uh, resupply, and they will be severely demoralized. I expect that I can mop them up fairly easily. Or relatively easily, yeah. Up here in the north, there was this enemy battle group stationed here in the hills. And we had one unknown enemy group here. My fear was that the enemy would send in more reinforcements and together with this unit attack Coxon Farm and take it back. But they didn't do that. I did bring in the um, self-propelled guns to Coxon Farm. You know, the 75mm armed half-tracks. But the enemy battle group decided to go for this farm here and to capture that. Which is fine by me, to be honest. They can have that for the moment. And now we are faced with this battle here. A company will try to attack and defeat this enemy battle group. And we'll see if we can deal with these guys as well. I seem to remember that these guys had quite a lot of mortars and machine guns with them. So, maybe this has the potential to be another hard battle. Because remember, I basically only have tanks against enemy infantry soldiers. You see, if this uh, battle group down here sets up in this little forest and this grove, how am I gonna get them out of there? No idea. We'll see. See you on the battlefield. And we are ready to start the battle. Now, before we do that though, I want to show you something. I didn't notice this in the operational phase, but it's pretty awesome. Have a look at this. Have a look at this. This is one of my tanks. What happened here, you might ask? Well, apparently we captured one of the Panzer III's that we were fighting in the previous episode. So, this thing is now ours. Look, they even painted uh, a star on it on each side. This is, uh, this is a really awesome detail of this game, that your units can do that. So, we have two guys inside of this tank, who apparently lost their steward, and decided to go and take this one. Why not? I guess we have a driver and we have a gunner, most likely. So it won't be super effective, but nonetheless, it well, it's one tank more for me, so I'll take it. 
Okay. Let's have a look at the battle that we are about to start. So what are we going to do? You see Waters with his Steward tank together with um, Griffith's guys here. They are going to drive straight for the Grove and try to take out the enemy units in this area or at least locate them and pin them down. At the same time Dorbin and his units are going to cross here and try to advance onto the farm to make sure that we hold that and then I guess I'll maybe swing them around onto the road. No, I just uh, the road is just out of the battle area. Okay, so we won't do that. But I think I'll get them over on this side and maybe I'll have them advance on the grove from this direction to pincer the enemy. Um, all that time Townsend and his two tanks, one of which is still damaged, it has not been repaired in time. The lights and sides are broken, at least some of them. Let's actually take a look. Do you want to know which sides are broken on your tank? You can do that. Okay, here we have the tank. And if we activate this here, show side sectors. Okay, doesn't show it right now. A side that is broken would appear red, but Nobody is trying to use the broken side right now, so that's why we can't see it. Maybe, well, I hope it's not the, the gunner's um, optic here. We'll see that when the battle starts. I'll take another look at this. Okay. Okay, 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 so we got that. Yeah, Townsend and his two tanks, they will provide some overwatch here and suppress enemy units if they should appear. I might place... Actually, I might place them up here. From here, they could have a better field of view onto these orchards. Yeah, let's actually do that. Okay, you know what? You will... You will come here. This looks like a good position. And I'll place you over here. Yeah, from here, you can cover the orchard pretty well. You can shoot all the way to the farm over there, which is about a kilometer away. Awesome. So, that's the plans. Let's finish the deployment. And now, let's give out the initial orders. Okay, Dorbin, you guys, yeah, I want you to cross at this place. So, I will order you to simply... Mm -hmm. Fast move in a column formation. Yeah, that works. Move all the way to over here. Then I want you to deploy in a line formation. Like so. Mm, maybe I can get the wedge going. We'll see. And start to move just like, just like this, yeah. So they will deploy here and then will advance onto this orchard. Now, do I want my tanks to go through the orchard? That's a very good question. I don't know what's in here. I think we will make this move here first and then after locating the enemy, we will try to engage them. These two tanks, they are staying on standby. Okay, Griffith, you guys. Now you will have a pretty difficult task. The task to somehow get across this ditch here. This canal. That might not be easy. So you know what? I'll just give you guys the order to reach this... Hmm... There are so many canals here. This is making things a little bit difficult. Just a little bit. But yeah, I think I'll just give them the order to reach this area here and we'll see how they do. Let's do that, yeah. You, Waters, you try to get over here. And with that all done, let's start the battle. Now over here I do have my um, repair troops standing by. 
they do have a 50 cal and a few infantry soldiers, but they do not have a lot of ammunition. Uh, you guys dismount for the moment. By the way, this is this is really nice that you can dismount troops like this. The door opens and everything. Okay. Off to my tanks. Stuff is happening. Oh wait, did I... No, they are all driving. But you... Yeah, you are not doing well. The soft ground. Look at the mud. It's sinking into the mud. Damn it. This might actually be difficult. Just because of the terrain. We'll see. Maybe we can do it. Um, where is the damage tank that I wanted to take a look at? It was this one, I think. Now, let's see if we can spot which side is being... I can't take it no more. ...is busted on this one. I can't spot it right now, yeah, because they're not using them. Okay. Can this tank get out? Yes, it can. Good job, guys. And look, my time is approaching. They actually turned on their headlights. It might make it a little bit easier to identify enemy infantry, so I'm fine with that. Wow, oh, look at them sinking into the mud. The driving physics in this game, um, when you consider that this is a strategy game after all, are pretty amazing. You can clearly see that this development studio, well, they come from a background of military vehicle simulations. And we have our first enemies inside. Enemy infantry down by the river. Machine gunner and somebody else, they are seemingly trying to get in a position somewhere. We'll see about that. Right now, my tanks are trying to get into position. And that's fine with me. Okay, one tank has made it to this little crossing here. That's good. That's very good. Now, don't get stuck at the bottom. Just drive through it. The steward with the narrow tracks not not very good for soft ground it really isn't but they are managing slow but steady okay tanks are opening fire on enemy infantry oh yeah there's a whole squad here yeah please do engage them please do Actually, uh, where is Waters? Waters is here. Waters, I want you. I want you over here engaging those guys, if possible. Come on, get out of there. Yeah, one tank stopped for the moment. Oh, they're already on this side of the river as well. It's so weird to see green tracers and know that these are mine. Oh, this is fantastic. Yeah, we seem to have a driver and a gunner. Alright, alright. I like that. That's nice. Now, we also made contact here in the grove. And the tanks that I positioned on the hill... Yeah. They can do a good job now. That's just awesome. They're buttoning up. Okay. Good stuff. But still, all the sides seem to be okay on this tank. Hmm. Maybe it's this one on the side of the turret that's damaged because I didn't see it. Nobody used it. 
Well, most important thing is the main sites. They are okay. Oh, that's a lot of guys. All right. Dorbin, you have a mission. You are going to sweep through that area. Once you go into attack formation... Oh, wow, that's a lot of guys. Okay. You will do the following. Go to that area. Let's see if we can take them out. Some soldiers seem to be trying to hide. It's not very effective. Tanks are opening fire. Oh, wow. Okay, not good, not good. Enemy infantry close to my tanks. I have to be careful with that. They can and will throw grenades at me. And somebody is bogged down. Who? Waters thinks that he's bogged down. You are actually not. It's just the tank in front of you that's bogged down. He'll get out eventually, then Waters will be able to move as well. There we go. Okay, Waters. Get over there. You can do it. There you go. Let's get this show rolling again. This is amazing. I like this. I really do. I think this is so amazing that we were able to capture one of the Panzer 3s. Oh, poor Germans. That must really be annoying to be fired at by one of your own tanks. Oh, that's really a lot of enemy infantry. Okay, the tanks from the hill are supporting. Yeah, you know what? Once these tanks have been set in motion towards this area, I think I will hold them in the open. And I will wait for these guys to hopefully crush the enemy spirit over here. Because I need support for this. This is just too many enemies. Pretty much, yeah. This is too many of them. For these tanks to handle. Okay. Waters has reached his position. And he will start to take out enemy soldiers. Like this guy sitting in the river. Or maybe this guy. He seems to be an easier or more important target due to the machine gun. Yeah, Waters, please do take him out. Ah, he's moving. Aiming. Waters, you are crap at aiming. Well, okay. Finally he did it, but yeah, we have enemy soldiers very close to him. Under fire. Who? Um, excuse moi, what are you doing here? Damn you. Did I order you? Oh no. Did I order you guys over here? I must have done that by mistake. Okay, the infantry. Go hide here. The half-track, stay there. Put some suppressive fire on them if you can. How many 50 kill shots do you still have? Oh, a little bit, okay. Use that. Actually, back it up. Back it up. I think somebody just died in the half trick or was at least wounded. Because I saw a splash of blood. But okay, they still seem to be fine. Under fire. Yeah, these tanks. Okay, they need to stop now. They should not drive into this grove. That's just inviting disaster. By all means, shoot at the enemies in front of you, but don't drive in there. 
fire, under fire, under fire. Enemy contact in the grove over here. Yeah, the grove. Uh, not the grove. Excuse me. The orchard. The orchard here is full of enemies. And they are offering a ceasefire. I'm not prepared to take that at this moment. I want to inflict more losses. Do I dare to bring in the infantry towards these guys? I think I do. By the way, by holding ALT or SHIFT, you can select individual parts of a platoon. Look, if I hold SHIFT and I select this unit, I'm selecting only the half-track. If I hold ALT, I'm selecting only the infantry. And the infantry will now do the following. They will stay cautious and they will advance or attack onto this area. Double line. Close line. Yes, please. That's exactly what you're gonna do. Let's see if we can help out Waters a little bit here. Waters definitely has a damaged side, so this is what I wanted to show you earlier. This side has been smashed and now it's red. It can't be used. How was it smashed? Well, most likely by infantry just shooting at it. Okay, these tanks are getting closer and they are engaging enemies over here behind the grove. That's good. I'm okay with that. Oh, there's a lot of enemies here. Oh my god. I wish I had artillery right now. That would be awesome. I would just sent in the artillery and everything would be done. But that was the reality of Blade Force at this moment in time in real life, historically. They only had tanks at this point, no infantry support. And they needed to make do with that and yeah, it's the same rules for us. We need to make do with what we have. My god, that's a lot of guys. Yeah, I need more tanks over here if this is going to be successful. And the 37mm guns, well, their high explosive power is not great. So even when they hit close to the enemies, they wound them most of the time. They don't exactly kill them. Keep doing that. You're doing fine for the moment. You guys, you are ordered over there. Okay. So keep doing that. Enemy infantry is still close to waters. And look at that. That's something that I want to show you as well. The crew of this tank can't exactly see this guy. Because if you look at how the sides are positioned... Yeah, it's not that easy, right? Also, check out the commander switching from this side to this side, trying to keep an eye out for all things around himself. Another cool feature. And we are running into more infantry over here. Oh wow, that guy just boarded. This guy is shooting his machine gun straight into Water's tank. Uh, I will back him up, because at that range the machine gun might actually do damage. And the good thing is, now they might be able to see that guy. Maybe. Okay, these tanks are driving into enemy infantry. There's an enemy officer here. Man, you are having a bad day. Enemy contact, yeah. It's this one over here. Try to drive on. Come on, dig yourself out of this. There you go. 
the Panzer III should have no such problems at this little spot here. Panzer III clearly superior to the Stuart. Well, actually, he's struggling a little bit as well, but only because he's not using both tracks at the moment. Once he gets power to both tracks, he'll get out of this, no problems. By the way... Oh, the enemy has trucks over there. Okay, we'll make sure to take these trucks away from them. Yeah, there you go. The Panzer III is out. Clearly the superior tank. Okay, you guys just keep these enemy infantry soldiers in here. I might do... Yeah, I might do this. You race over here. I want to make sure that no enemy infantry is crossing this area and trying to get into these canals. I wouldn't like that. So actually, yeah, I move two tanks over here, just to make sure that that doesn't happen. There we go. You can drive even further to here. You are covered by the other tank after all. Okay, these tanks are moving, that's fine. Okay, I think these tanks have reached their ordered position. Yes, they did. Okay, so now we need to give them new orders. I want them to advance onto the um, assembly of enemy trucks over here. So, you go and try to do that. Okay, orders have been communicated tanks are starting to move and it was the right call to get tanks over here because look at this the enemies are trying to get out of the orchard and they are trying to take out my tanks with grenades but they're not successful so far Panzer 3 is leading the charge. You know what? This is amazing. Oh, I did forget to turn off the compass. I always do that. Okay. Now let's take a look. A very unusual shot. Seeing a Panzer III and the Stuart advance side by side. Gunning down enemy soldiers. I really do like this. Okay. But please keep advancing. It really was a good idea to position those two tanks on the hilltop. From there they really can shoot into this orchard. It's a good thing I did that. Okay. Tanks are now trying to find a way Also engaging God knows what. Okay, should I maybe try to get these tanks around here? Onto this flank and make sure that we lock down the road. 
Uh, that might not be a bad idea. That really might not be a bad idea. Okay, you move over there. Actually, there is something like a road here, so he might be able to use that. Move by road to... No, just, just move by road to there. And then you move over here. You move over here. Ah, you can't move there. Okay. Okay, then. Then we won't do that. Let's do it like this, then. Move to there. Then move over to here. And let, let's set you up to be... In this area, I think. Just give me another angle on these enemies. Yeah. I guess that works. Oh, this tank is driving straight through the grove. That's dangerous. If there's enemy infantry in there, that could hurt. But so far it seems to be alright. This tank finally found the road and is now advancing to this position. From here he will most definitely be able to take out the enemy mortar crew. With the loss of their mortar, the enemy should be much more inclined to surrender. And yes, I want the enemy to surrender here. That's the ultimate goal. Oh, we found something over there. Heavy weapon of some kind. And my tank has them in his sights. It's another mortar. Please do take them out. Tank is slowly leaving the grove, so he will have a clear line of fire in just a minute. Probably after knocking down some more pawns. Okay, no eyes on the mortar at the moment. There we go. We established contact. I wouldn't mind you shooting a high explosive shell into them. I think that would be a good idea. How about your ammunition status? Oh, you still have enough shots, I think. Oh wow, I didn't notice that until now. These things actually have canister shots. Well, in the end it is a 37mm gun, but a canister shot, even from a 37mm gun, can do quite some damage to infantry. But machine guns work too. Just take these guys out. Make sure that they lose their precious mortar. <laughs> He's trying to use it. Yeah, good luck with that. Oh, that truck just ate it. Okay, they're abandoning the mortar. Trying to get out of here. And there we go, that guy's dead now. Good job. Keep doing that. Over here, this tank is arriving where he's supposed to be. And he can see the enemy units now, including the mortar. So from this position up here, he should, he should have a good field of fire. And since I see that the enemy seems to be retreating from this orchard, I think I will now move these two tanks through the area. Just let them run down the enemy infantry. Okay. 
My infantry is still advancing into this area. That's fine. These tanks have reached their goal. Everything seems to be pretty much dead over here. At this point, I think the enemy force is really shattered. And it's just a question of mopping up. And over here, oh yeah, my tanks are now a monster. This could get ugly, but so far it's going well. I think this guy just actually fired a canister shot. Not sure though. Yeah. He did expend some canister shots. Shane would have loved to see that up close, to be honest. Tanks are just crushing them. He's not in a good place. What the hell is he carrying? Oh, okay. There we go, we can see the rifle now. And look what he has on top of his rifle. Gewehrgranate, a rifle grenade to use against the tanks. This game is just so full of details. Really nice. You, I advise you not to just stand there. That's unhealthy. Well, I guess he's given up inside. Oh, here we have some trucks. Okay. Enemy soldiers? Where are you? We pulled through. Now all the tanks together can start engaging those guys. Wouldn't want to be them. You. I want you not to move up there. I want you to actually move through the orchard and make sure that these trucks are gone. That was a canister shot from that tank. waiting for this one to shoot. And as I mentioned earlier, it is canister shot, but it's still fired from 37mm. So there is not that much weapon. Yeah, there you saw it for just a moment. Did you see all those impacts on the ground? My guess is those were about 50 pellets or something like that. Okay. I think we are at a point where I'm considering to accept the ceasefire and end this battle. The enemy battle groups have both been savaged. Absolutely savaged. My hope is they will disband after this battle. Let's look at these guys. Come on, use your last canister shot here. Or just use the machine gun and take them out. That works as well. This guy's only wounded. Oh yeah. The tanks... Absolutely the winners here. Expanding all their high explosive ammunition. Oh, you're running. Running would help you. Running will not help you. Enemy contact, where? Over here, okay, they are trying to retreat to the north now. And the enemy retreats, we did it. That's it. We broke them. Finally. I gotta say, finally.
Okay. Let's sweep these tanks up. Make sure that we kill even more enemies during this short time that remains to us. More enemy contacts, yeah, they're over here on the road, that's fine. Tanks are getting into formation and running them down. Still no surrenders, just a lot of that and a oh, battle won. Awesome. Alright, let's have a look. Casualties on my end, 3. Casualties on their end, 91. Let's have a real quick look on the battlefield. Yeah, okay, there were enemies here. They mostly got neutralized. Let's actually have a look at the enemy troops. MG34 over here, abandoned. Truck, abandoned. This group, there's one guy left in it. Apparently the commander. Who knows, maybe if we took him out, the enemies would have started to surrender. Putsch, what about you? No guys left, no guys left. Four guys left somewhere here in this ditch. None left and one unit that we didn't encounter, one platoon. This company, Pioneer Company, oh, Pioneers. Mm, interesting. That's it, oh wow, okay, they had pa huh. They really did have pioneers. Not a lot though. Okay. Mortar, abandoned. Machine gun abandoned. A truck. Could still be repaired. Could still be repaired. Steiner. Yeah, pioneers. Pioneers. They had a whole platoon of those guys. And you know what? Those guys against tanks in close quarters. These guys have explosive charges. They can mess up my tanks. But apparently we didn't run into a lot of those troops. Yeah, who knows where they are hiding. We didn't run into them. Maybe they already pulled back into this area or something. Okay, so in some way we were lucky this time again. Nice. Let's have a quick look at Waters and his tank. Let's have a look at the... <laughs> okay, let's just say this thing got shot a lot. And yeah, you can see how they targeted the sides. Here, here, here. Try to go for weak spots, threw a grenade at it. Can I see what actually took out the gunner? Mm -hmm. Oh, here in the front, actually. Okay. A bullet. It did not exactly penetrate, but spalling inside the tank must have injured the gunner. Huh. Okay. Why not? So, with all of that said, let's go to the operations map and end this. There we are. So this enemy battle group down here, I think they were completely defeated. These guys, they pulled back into the hills. And we still have two untouched enemy units that did not engage in the battle. But this is the end of the campaign. If we go to next turn, we see what they had available to them. So it was only the battalion command here of Kropowitzik and the battalion command of the 119th tank battalion. So I guess they had one more tank that they didn't get onto the field. Or did they? Let's see. Major Witzig. Yeah, a Panzer III. He did not enter the battle. And these guys... How much units do they have remaining? Quite a lot. So the engineer companies, 
they were decimated but not completely so who knows these guys could still have become dangerous but um yeah their stamina ran out their morale is not as bad as i would have expected i would have expected them to have much lower morale at this point but it's all right what what's important is that we defeated them so let's see outcome Despite the success, the tankmen of the 1st Armored Division failed to break through to Tunisia. On November 27, the Allies captured Teburba, but a few days later they got bogged down in fierce battles at Jadeida. At the end of November 1942, the Allies' advance to Tunisia was stopped, and in the beginning of December, the German forces counterattacked. Yeah, that's the historical outcome, that's basically what will happen. The Allies will fail to capture Tunisia at this point and they will face a really serious counterattack by the German forces which we will play at some point I think so you can stay tuned for that is the Chuigui pass campaign worth the asking price of about I think 1 euro 50 or something like that hell yes it's a really fun little campaign short but very fun although just get the complete edition. I mean, it's on sale all the time on Steam and you can get the game with all the DLCs for like 35 euros or something like that. And that is absolutely worth the money. I can assure you of that. Now, before we end the campaign, I do want to inform you guys about some big changes that are coming to this channel. I finally ordered myself a new PC because the PC that I'm currently using is about 11 years old and while it is overclocked to the absolute limits, if I play Gravity Team Tactics and there's a really huge battle going on with lots of artillery, it becomes a slideshow. That certainly won't happen with the new PC. This little whine that you can hear in the background, let me, let me get close to it. You hear that? That's my graphics card fan going insane all the time. That will be gone. And because the new PC is a lot faster, rendering times will be improved significantly, maybe I'll be able to produce more than two videos a week. We'll see about that though. Until the PC arrives and I get everything set up and working, I will treat you guys to some Steel Fury videos, so you can look forward to those. Before we end this campaign, let me thank each and every one of you for your continued support of this channel. You guys are the reason that I make these videos and I am really looking forward to being able to record videos of much higher quality for you. I also do love reading your comments, so please go ahead and put some feedback in the comment section of this video. Also, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel to not miss out on the awesome, awesome, awesome campaigns that we will be playing in the future and maybe some other things. Who knows? We'll see. So. Once again, thank you very much, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, goodbye.